I will show you a video of South Africans caught stealing in a foreigner's shop. Hey! Oh, um, these people, these people, guys, this video is going to be interesting. South Africans, I did not make the video before you say Ajim, 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 Ajim. And you know why we have to talk about this thing? Because these are the things you South Africans accuse Nigerians and foreigners for. You accuse Nigerians and foreigners for these things that you are doing. So when we come up with evidence, we cannot hide it. How do you expect me to hide the evidence? I don't think I hide them now. I want to hide evidence. Better evidence like this. We go prove a point. I cannot hide it. I have to show it to the world. The world needs to know who will be the real thief. Who will be the real people behind all the activities they are accusing Nigerians and Africans for? You say you don't want immigrants. You don't want them. You don't want them. Yet, now if they carry leg, go immigrant shop, go thief. Why? South Africans, why? Why can't you people just change? It is in your nature. Because, first of all, you people are lazy. Wutu, wutu. You cannot work. You cannot even keep a job. You cannot even be, a, you are not employable. You are not creative. Your sense is not working because you don't knock. Because if your sense they work, you will not be shouting rainbow nation, rainbow nation, rainbow nation when the white they buy una. When the white they buy una, una mothers, buy your, your mothers and other people. You are shouting rainbow nation. I've never seen a white come out to say South Africa is a rainbow nation, rainbow nation, because they don't give a damn. Now, blacks, they just carry the matter for their head. Yet, they are busy attacking those who help them. South Africa will accuse Nigerians and blame them for. Uh, selling powder accuse nigerians and tell them that oh these are your people they are coming to this country they, they call the thief they call the commit this they call the commit that and in the end of the day we are now seeing evidence that everything south africans accuse nigerians of now then they do am. the last time i did a video exposing the statistics of crime rate in the country where your own government came out releasing the statistics showing the country and the people in South Africa where they commit the highest wala. And South Africans were 90% of the people that are committing all the wala in their country. The second was uh, Zimbabweans, who are just a small quantity. And we do not even see Nigeria on the list. Yet, Nigeria is the breakfast South Africans get up and eat. Is the lunch South Africa eat. Is the dinner. Every time a South Africa is talking, he has to blame Nigeria. They blame everybody else for their own problem except them. Now, make I not talk too much, Joe. So, observe what this South African man is doing. And the shocking part is, is with a girlfriend. His South African girlfriend is covering up for him, helping him to commit this act. So, they enter. If this shop it belongs to a foreigner, the man just recorded it on the CCTV. Because, let me tell you the truth. If the owner of the shop now made noise, tried to talk, these, these same South Africans, they will call their brothers. They will call my side and now hold the owner of the shop responsible and tell the person, you are a foreigner. What are you doing in this country? Why do you own shop in this country? And probably loot more from the man, collect more from the man, and the man will lose. So I understand why some of you will say, why did the man not hold them? Why did the man not catch them? Why did the man just stay quiet? He's a smart man. He's, in the, he's on ground. He's on ground. He knows what is happening. He knows how black South Africans behave. So he just decided to keep the video, release the video on social media so that the world can see. I thank God for the man. We are so happy. We are so happy because we need more evidence. We need more evidence to defend our case, to defend Nigerians, to defend African immigrants in this country. Because had they been this evidence are not there, South Africans will have a point. But now, you can clearly see from the video you're watching that. This man came in with his girlfriend, women. South Africa women. Sometimes I did defend when I don't know, say, you guys are also as damn, not just worse like when men. Hmm? So he came in with a girlfriend. It's a well-planned act. Because you see how they do it. It's a well-planned act. They had planned it out. They know how it's going to play out. So they came in prepared for that move. So the girl was defending covering him not they didn't even know Mumu people they don't know that dstv whether it's dstv now 
that CCTV camera is observing and taking a video of them. They don't know. But observe the South Africans on the comment section. Observe the South Africans on social media. Observe how they will accuse other people. They will accuse Zimbabweans. They will accuse Nigerians. They will accuse everybody else. And look at what they are even taking. They are taking wine, alcohol. They're not, they're not going to even contact any better thing. They don't want to take any better thing with that something that can help their life. The mentality of the people, eh? the mindset of the people is just too much. I, I, I don't even know how far I can describe this one now because this one weak me. Are they shame for South Africans? Are they shame? Are they shame woto woto? You understand? And let me tell you guys the truth. This is how they do everywhere across the country. That's why you see imagine this kind of person working for you that's why you see they don't have jobs yeah this is why black south africans don't have jobs in their country because the white already know them so as a white person or as an entrepreneur or as a businessman in south africa you seeing these people behaving like this will you employ them i've always wondered why is it that the south african white people and the companies in south africa prefer to employ indians employ nigerians employ chinese employ foreigners rather than employing the South African blacks that are there. I've always wondered, I've always, the thing always puzzled me. Today now, I've seen the answer. Because if this kind of people work for you, tomorrow now you will come and see an empty shop. If this kind of people are working for you. It's obvious, it's clear. It's very, very clear. I hope this proves a point. And I hope South Africans learn a lesson. You people are responsible for your wala. Everything that is happening in your country, you are responsible take responsibility for it and defend your country behave well behave well in your country behave well to citizens uh to to immigrants in your country and stay as good citizens what this man just did is unfair isn't good he's trending now he's trending i hope he's happy and the girlfriend anything a man they do woman fear woman fear woman use 24 hours they fear woman for your life it is what it is your boy Ajim Maxi on this one again. Smash the like button and come back anytime you're free. God bless you. Cheese.